guys, Craig and Mistress Trailers. So we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 102 by 17 plus 3 light duty deck over. It's a 9,900 pound GVW trailer. Everything shown here is standard equipment with the exception of what we call the deluxe ramps. And we'll get to those in a little bit. Let me take you for a walk around and show you all the standard features on this particular unit. It's up front, it's got a six hole adjustable. It's got a cast coupler, you'll notice up front, not a stamp coupler. Uh, forward would be open, back would be latched. It's got a 7K drop leg jack. Drop leg jacks are nice, get your grease dirt up top for serviceability. And then uh, you've got an inner leg that extends out and then the top wind uh, handle would, would uh, crank your outer sleeve. Of course, safety chains, got your holder on them. So this particular unit's made from a tube frame and then it's also got a uh, tube tongue. Uh, tube uh, pound for pound is going to give you the most strength that you can get uh, per pound. So on this particular 10k trailer the trick is to get the unit as light as possible uh, while still having maximum strength and tube does a good job at that. On this particular unit uh, they do the tube tongue and then also uh, the side rail as well. Now we've seen some in the industry that use angle iron. Angle iron does flex a lot because it's only a two-sided material. Uh, channel's fairly rigid and strong, three sides. Uh, but when you add that uh, fourth side, uh, two pound per pound seems to get the, uh, the most strength and the least amount of twist uh, per pound. So we choose short track for pretty much all of our 10K lighter duty deck overs. Uh, speaking of pounds, this weighs about 2,800 pounds empty. Gives you a net legal payload at a 9,900 pound GVW of 7,800 pounds. Now that does not include tongue weight. Tongue weight you're also going to pick up 10 to 15 percent on the truck side on this particular unit. Spare tire mount is standard and new for uh, uh, we're into the 2021 model years. Uh, they've added where it's adjustable so you can put it in the A-frame. If you do want a toolbox or similar uh, you can actually move it out to the side and put your toolbox in and not have disruption there. Uh, for tie downs on this a lot in the industry, I'll just do maybe stake pockets or a rub rail. They've also got D-rings on these, uh, which is nice. Uh, there's six of those on the trailer. You've got your front, middle, and then you've got them uh, on the rear of the beaver tail. So again, this is 5,200 pound axle. So it's got a 225, 75 R15 load range D eight ply tire. As with most of your 10K trailers, it's gonna be a standard eye to eye suspension. And Short Track on this chooses to use the silver wagon wheels. The brakes on this are the newer style forward adjusting brakes. So they self, um, self tension throughout the life of the pad. Uh, good to check them out once in a while, but for, uh, uh, for our purposes nowadays, they would work similar to a car, very little, uh, if any, adjustment or service needed. So behind the black cap and the end of your axle is your easy lube hubs. Uh, you'd simply pull the black cap off the end and you can grease uh, your bearings, inner and outer, very simple uh, modern design. Underneath also tube cross members, some in the industry use angle. Angle would be kind of light. I have seen some issues with different trailers that had angle. Some use channel, channel's a good setup. Um, just again, too, we tend to find pound per pound gets you the maximum amount of strength. So generally speaking, your deck overs are going to be shorter on 10K. So this has a three foot dovetail. Uh, everything 20 foot and under, we like to use a, a three foot dove with a five foot ramp. Um, tends to get your balance right. Uh, generally on our 14K deck overs that go longer than 20 foot, we'll do four foot dove with stand ups. Uh, but again, the three foot dove and five foot ramps get you a good load angle. So on this particular unit, we have gone with what we call the deluxe ramp. Deluxe ramps are wider, about a two foot wide ramp with the mesh face, just makes it to where you can load uh, more items with these particular ramps. Just makes it a lot more versatile. Uh, while we stock this in a 15 plus three as well, uh, we just do these ramps in the 17 plus three. Uh, the longer trailer can balance out the heavier ramps without a problem where on the 15 plus 3 uh, make it a little bit tongue light uh, with this particular setup. So these ramps do have the knee that are going to self support. So we call this an equipment style ramp because it braces the back end of the trailer. 
Now that is a fixed in place knee. It's set where it needs to be proper height. I've also got your spring assist on the ramps. Of course, you've got your LED lights. Now these actually have an extra marker light on each side. So you've got your traditional three in the center for your markers, stop turn tails, and then you've got an extra set of outer markers. So there is some adjustability on the ramp, although since we've already got the wider ramps, there's a little bit less adjustability there. If you push them all the way to the center, I believe there's about a, it's just under a three foot gap there, I believe about 33 inches to where you can push them together. And we have some guys that have narrow front ends. You can make uh, make units that basically will bridge the, the gap in between if you're one of those guys. Uh, they are knife edged at the end. So you've got about a two inch thickness. Now one thing to note, uh, most everybody on stand up ramps is gonna use four inch channel. Short Track does a four inch channel uh, ramp runner. Uh, it's nice because a lot of guys look at the payload and just assume that they can load up the full legal payload, but like a utility trailer, you gotta watch, not all ramps are rated for the full legal amount. Uh, these, however, with that four inch channel are certainly more than capable. So you do see this is a low profile. It's got diamond plate uh, over the wheel wells to help get you down as low as possible to get the lowest possible deck height. I believe this particular unit's gonna sit about 32 inches, which is about the lowest you're gonna get uh, on a deck over. Now by having the tread plate, you're gonna save uh, about an inch and a quarter or inch and a half uh, of height. So you've got about a 28 inch tire got to have about three inch or so of clearance. This gets you down about as low as you possibly can for a nice low load angle. So again, lots of tie downs. This unit is powder coated. You'll see the sticker uh, on it. Uh, beyond being powder coated, it, it really comes down to prep. We find Short Track tends to do one of the better preps of the different brands uh, that we carry. I've seen quite a few different brands and they just seem to do a pretty quality job. On the little details they do on this, because there's quite a few things that they do that we like. Uh, reflector tape's not required on a trailer under 10,000 pounds, uh, but they do a continuous reflector on this unit. Uh, I'll also show you uh, the wiring's all grommeted, ran in frame. Plug holder for your plugs, nice. Standard seven pin RV blade that's on pretty much all modern trucks. It is a fully sealed wire harness front to back. And you also notice the 7k drop plate jack we said it is uh it's got dessert it's a top wine jack you also notice that it's a bolt-on plate so if you were ever to damage the jack uh we can certainly get your replacement or it just makes it easier to replace you can unbolt it and weld the next one on or or put it on similar plate setup as well other details they they finished it out a little bit there's actually a fabricated part up front here that finishes out the front gives it a nice look uh you got your front bulkhead there as well uh, this unit we do stock in a 15 plus 3 shown here would be a 17 plus 3 uh, I believe we can also get longer lengths but normally once we go over 20 foot we would go to a 14,000 pound GVW if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking